Hey, Coach Jacob. So glad to have you here on Torch Sports. I understand at the end of the interview, you're going to uh, make a big announcement for Southern Torch Media and the Scottsboro area. So tell us a little bit about Scottsboro Wildcats. How's the si this summer been going in preparation for the season? Well, it's, it's really been well. Uh, we've had great participation. We have 59 kids on the team and probably our lowest day has been 57 here and that's uh, wow. that, that's huge for us as long as we can get them here we can help help mold them help change them for the day and help hopefully get them a little bit better every day and uh, we've really had uh, good summer workouts uh, we've had uh, 12 in june and we'll have 14 in july by the time this thing's over with and uh it, it, it's really been really been good that is great now how many seniors do you have returning this year we have we have 21 seniors uh not all of them played last year but uh, for the most part uh you know i probably say 16 or 17 have played the, the whole time that i've been here uh, they were all sophomores when i got here and uh, they've been playing for the last two years and uh, we, we got some good experience coming back and and, and we got some good kids that's great. How many do you have returning on offense? Uh, we have nine re returning on offense, and uh, uh, we replaced the quarterback uh, with the wideout that was a starter last year, and uh, we've uh, added another wideout from the basketball team. And uh, but everybody else has pretty much played and, and been under the been under the gun. That's great. How many on defense? We have eight returning on defense, and uh, we. Uh, uh, all three linebackers are have been playing for the last two years uh, up front. We're we're a little bit uh, uh, depleted by graduation. Uh, we lost uh, four guys up front, and uh, but you know I feel good about the kids that are coming back and, and, and the things that we're doing. And of course Noah Limble, uh, number ten, is coming back at free safety, and he was our second second leading tackler last year. So. It's a, it's That's what I was going to ask you. Who's the players that we need to keep an eye on? The ones well, from, up? from a from a defensive standpoint, all three linebackers: twenty-two, AJ Weijin, thirty-eight, Cameron Whited, uh, thirty, Cameron Skipper. Uh, like I said, they played uh, the last two years, and they've been on all the special teams and uh, really, really done a good job. But they're seniors, and, and their leadership has shown this summer uh, in the secondary. Uh, Ten and thirty-three. Uh, are the two returning guys, and like I said, Noah was our second leading tackler last year, and uh, uh, the two corners that we have are, are both sophomores, and, and they're good athletes and good kids. And uh, up front, uh, th this is uh, Nate uh, Jones, number 75, is coming back. He's a returning starter, and then we have uh, Hunter Wright and uh, Forrest Hancock are, are the two that. Uh, are coming back with, with a little bit of experience, but not quite as much as, as everybody else. But, you know, we're looking for good things from them. Right. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, uh, of course, I said we moved uh, Jacob uh, Manning to quarterback, and he played wide out. Of course, he's played since eighth grade. So, you know, he's used to varsity competition. A quarterback is a new position for him, and uh, he's really done well this, this spring and this summer uh, with the 11-on-11 11 11 competitions and uh, running back uh, – uh, we have, uh, you're going to be able to edit this, good Lord. I just, I just, I just drew a blank. <laughs> That's uh, Cam, Cam, Cam Ellis Bass, yeah, I'm sorry. Cam <laughs> Ellis Bass is, is going to be the running back and, of course, the tight end. Uh, Brody Hyde has, has played the last two years, so we've got some experience there also. So now I know we just have what she play a scrimmage game. Um, how about – Counts and scrimmage things and different things like that. What all have you done in, to pre prepare for the season? Well, we we we've had two uh, eleven on elevens. We had played the Decatur uh, two weeks ago. Uh, we played Aniana today, and we're going to play uh, North Sand Mountain uh, this Thursday, and then that'll wrap it up for us. And then we actually start practice on August the fifth, and uh, we'll be. Uh, uh, get ready for Sylvania and Fort Payne and, and the rest yes. of the season. Yeah, you will start off um, August the 23rd at a jamboree at Sylvania. Correct. And that's going back. You went to school at Yeah, Sylvania. I did. The fifth and sixth grade, uh, my dad was a pastor out there at Sylvania Baptist. And uh, we lived there. And <clears throat> then uh, we moved halfway between my sixth, and, well, sixth grade year. We moved uh, back to Scottsboro. And, and I've been here you know, ever since. So.
And then you'll, uh, you'll kick off the official week of football, week one. Uh, August the 30th, we kick off against Fort Payne over there one more time. Right. <laughs> well, that is awesome. So we look forward to covering you this season, and thank you for uh, doing our interview. But I think it's time to go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. Marla, I'm super excited about uh, you can catch all – of your exciting Scottsboro High School Wildcat football action in the new den at 101.7 The Torch. The cats are going to be turning up the heat this year. You heard it here. Uh, 101.7 The Torch is bringing all your favorite sports programs, starting with the Coach Don Jacobs show at 6 p.m., the pregame show with 101.7 The Torch Sports Crew, Scottsboro Wildcat play-by-play -play with Blake Wright, and then the Coach Don Jacobs postgame show and wrap-up. Then keep your radio tuned into the Conquip High School Football Scoreboard, where me and my rowdy crew <laughs> are will be giving you the full rundown on the Northeast Alabama High School Football Action. We are burning up your FM radio dial every week starting at 6 on 101.7 The Torch and online at www.southerntorch.com. Get ready to feel the heat.